what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another bitcoin daily video in today's video we're talking about this huge move that happened here over the weekend we're going to talk about what we're doing next we're going to talk about this bull flag that it's currently printing and where it's currently trading uh we're also going to cover uh, a trade recap of the trades that we gave you guys on friday and how we did uh, over 100 percent profit on those trades so stay tuned guys for the jam-packed video trust me you do not want to miss it guys make sure that you like and subscribe guys hit that notification bell and drop a comment let us know if you've been in this bull run and if you guys are interested in using the exchange that we use uh, we use Bybit and in the description we have a link where you guys can sign up through that and uh, you'll be able to get some rewards on your initial deposit up to around a hundred dollars or more so without further ado let's jump right in guys alrighty guys first things first let's talk about the trades from Friday's video guys we gave you guys two different trades that hit and hit big the first trade was uh, a breakout entry on Bitcoin. We we spoke about this breakout entry. We wanted to enter above the previous the the all time high at the time, right? Which was uh, twenty eight thousand eight hundred. It was right around this level right here, and you can see that breakout right there broke broke right through twenty five k, which then just took took a leg up really really quick it wasted zero time guys if you entered on the breakout at 24,800 and rode it up to the top up here even if you didn't sell at the very top but you sold somewhere at the 28k range guys you would have made 129% profits if you use 10x leverage on that trade um the next one was ethereum ethereum we told you guys to enter at 620 remember we kept speaking about all week last week really 620 620 620 guys if you've entered here on the 620 break one any of these breaks here and rode it up to the top guys all the way to about 740 range guys you would have made easily about 97 percent profits if you use 5x leverage guys so two different trades basically two different 100% profit um, results on Friday's from Friday's video. So I hope you guys were able to grab those trades and make some profits on there. If you did hit that like and, and let us know in the comments, um, you know, where you entered and where you were able to sell. So let's go ahead and take a look into Bitcoin guys. Let's see what's going on since Friday. So um, basically what happened over the weekend was we shot out of a rocket. We broke the previous all time high. We tested it and boom, look at this green candle. These are, th this is four hour uh, candles guys. So green candle, green candle, green candle, green candle, green candle. <laughs> guys, it was crazy. It was one, two, three, four, five, five green candles non-stop with no red and then this one is the one that hit the all, the new all-time high which are, was around uh 28,395 um before we finally got rejected and uh retraced a bit so as you guys can see once we got rejected um if we if you draw this the, the fibonacci levels we came right down to this level to to the fibonacci level you guys can see here to that 23.6% uh, level is exactly where we came down to. And now you'll notice what's going on is another bull flag. So what happened last time uh, when we drew this exact bull flag? Look at that, guys. Last time we had this exact pattern where we went all the way up and then we just kind of did this and boom, skyrocketed up. So can that happen again? It's a high probability, right? Um, that's what we always tell you with bull flags. Usually they break in in the direction of the impulse move and the trend, right? So we had the bull flag and we're currently in that consolidation period consolidating down um, as a price, you know, figures out what it wants to do. But um, if, you know, it does what it's, you know, what bull flags typically do, then we expect this to eventually pop up 
and retest this uh, all time high, right? And break it. So if we break this all time high, then we're expecting to possibly hit this uh, 30,000 right here, right? So that would be about up here. So um, if we break out of here, we expect a test here. Um, the way I would expect this breakout to go is probably like a test up here and then kind of, you know, squibble squabble and then continue upwards. Um, probably some resistance at that 9K range. Some, you know, maybe another little bull flag here and then continue. Whoops, I went too far. Continue up here. And then this is this is a zone where, where we're expecting a lot of uh, resistance. Uh, 30K is a big number. It's very, very round and even number. Uh, so we definitely are expecting a lot of resistance at that point. Um, so then at that point, we might, you know, kind of do this again. And uh, we, I mean, that might be the point where that, you know, gives us a pullback, maybe down to this level, um, down to this level or back down here, or, you know, we could even go all the way back down here, um, around here, right? So um, those are different scenarios that can happen if we continue up. Now, if we go down, then it'll look a little bit different, right? So if we were to break down from this uh, bull flag, then we'd probably, we'd see, first we're seeing a test of this area right here, right? Um, which it already tested it here and it's also a Fibonacci level. So um, we would see a test here, probably some, you know, some consolidation. Um, then we'd continue down to the next Fibonacci level, which is right here, which is around that 24,250 mark, that 24,200 mark. Um, and then I'd expect, you know, some buyers to come in buying the dip and for us to consolidate at that point again. If we were to break from that, um, then the, that next mark would be probably down here and down here. So this is the golden pocket. This right here is the golden pocket, guys, um, in a Fibonacci um, retracement tool. These are the golden pockets. So if we were, if we fell back down even lower, then uh, there was a lot of support right here. So I'd imagine we, we'd get a lot of buyers here. And if we went down even further, then we hit this right here, which is the golden pocket right here, right? Um, and then obviously that if we kept continued down in this scenario that we continued down, I don't think we'd go any lower than, um, than this 20K right here, right? So that I would expect a lot of buyers coming in. Um, people that missed out on this run, um, people that might have sold. Uh, I would expect them coming back in if we were to drop all the way down there. I don't expect to drop that far. Um, but there, there's going to be a pullback at some point. We just have to be prepared. It's just a matter of when, you know. Um, and then we have to be prepared for, any, uh, for every case scenario, regardless of what happens. So um, that's currently how we're setting up our trades, right? and our trade plans. So the first trade that we're looking at here, um, first we're looking, we're, we've been playing this 27K zone, right? We're playing that zone, but these are scalps, okay? So, you know, depending what type of trader you are, if you're more of a swing trader, then you're probably not gonna wanna take the, these 27,000 uh, breakout trades. Uh, you'll look to buy either at the bottom of this range which is more around that 26,500 to 600 or at on, on a breakout above this range, which is probably going to be, um, I would say above 27,500. That would probably be where you're looking to buy, um, above 27,500. You can expect, uh, possibly another move up to test this, uh, all time high. That's what I would expect. Uh, once we break that, um, cause we, we, at that point we'd be breaking out of the, um, of the bull flag, right? So if we're breaking out of the bull flag, I expect us to test that again at that point, right? If we try to measure the range of this bull flag, just to kind of have an idea, let's say something like that, right? That's about the range and we put it around that 25 K, um, 
where more or more or less are going to like that's the same the same size of this range is the same size as this uh the all-time high right so it, it kind of adds up right the top of this is is um is right at that all-time high so um that's what i'm expecting if we are to break upwards um i'm expecting a test of this of this again um if we are to break down then we have uh this support and then this support down here so the setups that we're looking at is above 27,500 for the breakout trade. 27,000 is a little bit of a riskier trade because you're right in the middle of that zone um, and there's a lot of consolidation here. So um, it is good for scalps during the day. If you're gonna be watching the price, that's fine. Um, other than that, it's it's getting a bit risky as this trend line is coming down. The, the risk reward is starting to disappear there, right? um but we're still in this range here which is why we're taking that um those scalps and uh if you want to be on the safer side then you're looking to enter trades down here around the 26,500 to 26,600 so uh those are probably best for scalps um to try to enter down here uh and try to sell up here so that's basically what you're doing uh while as long as we trade within this range we're looking to buy as close as down here as possible anytime the price reaches this level and then sell anytime the price reaches that level so that's right around that 27,200 level there's right around that 26,600 level right um that's 27,000 is a nice whole number so i like to use that as scalps every time it, it pops up above it it's it tends to run up to about 27,200 um but again there's a lot of consolidation in this area so uh depending on your risk tolerance you know this is a riskier trade because it's more likely to stop you out since there's so much consolidation there. so um if you have uh your risk tolerance isn't that high then i would suggest using the bottom level to enter or a breakout level up here all right taking a look at ethereum you guys see, remember that we had drawn this chart here and we said that it was within this channel and then within this channel and we expected um, this to go down till about here to this um, Fibonacci level and then bounce up um, and continue up, right? So, I mean, we it didn't do it exactly as we said, but it did use that level, which is that golden, level right there that golden pocket um as its breakout point and that was that that 620 mark which we spoke about a whole lot right all right so you see that we took off pretty very nicely we broke up and above 700 um we had a little price action there and then we can we just basically continued up um let's go ahead and extend the fibonacci to more or less of where we ran up to you see we've been consolidating here kind of the same thing as as bitcoin as you know uh this follows bitcoin for the most part what we're seeing right now is uh bounces off that 720 level and then the top of that range is gonna be around that 740 range right so 720 to 740 is more or less the range where it's trading in right now so what we're gonna be looking to do is either buy back down as close to 720 as possible um, and of course we always want to take that trade, you know, um, when it goes like this and you buy on the, on the way back up, right? Not on the way down. Um, and then, uh, that next level would obviously be that 700 level right here. Um, that would be that next level. That's right. It's right with this, um, Fibonacci level as well as just under it. So, um, that's basically the levels that we're watching. Now for the breakouts, the levels that we're watching is obviously above 750. That's where we wanna take a trade for a breakout. So um, the two trades that we're looking at is uh, above 750 and be and, um, on a test of 720 and back up above 720. So that's the support entry right here. And then this would be the breakout entry right here.
that's it for today guys i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video i hope you guys were able to grab some profits from friday's video if you guys did not and you missed out on those profits don't worry because i just gave you some new trade setups for this week if you guys haven't done so yet please go ahead and hit that follow hit that like on this video and drop a comment let us know what you think about the video and what you think bitcoin's price going to do next that is it for us today guys enjoy your mondays or tuesdays depending on what day you're watching this on and i will see you tomorrow as always peace and love